We are in the midst of an accelerating energy transition, meaning we are buying solar panels at a higher pace each year. About 80-90% of those panels currently come from China. We cannot repair them, we cannot uh, reuse them, we cannot recycle them, they're glued together. We need to look into uh, circular solutions, circular innovations. So that's what we try to do. That's why we try to bring in scientists together with creative entrepreneurs and policymakers to make that happen. This rooftop, within the coming decade, it will be demolished. So the business case for new solar panels is not interesting, but what we're trying to do is create an interesting case, an interesting societal case, basically, for second-hand solar panels. So some of the strategies that, that we're focusing on here in Amsterdam is partially lifetime extensions. And then one of the more high-end R strategies would be high-quality recycling and repair. We are working on a project called Fair PV uh, with Biosphere Solar, Circularize and Research Department at the TU Delft. And we're developing a repairable, transparent and sustainable solar panel. What are we looking at here? What, what is this exactly? It's obviously a solar panel, but what, what's special about it? It's a solar panel that has one big difference, which is that it is not uh, glued together. So solar okay. panels have this lamination, which means that they are just one uh, big piece of material um, and you can't separate anything. Uh, what we do is we only uh, close it around the edges, which means that what we'll do in a second is open it with a hot knife and you have all of your components right there. We see potential to actually use the materials for new solar panels, um, which is quite hard to do because uh, silicon has to be, I think, 99.9999999999% pure. <laughs> so if you've got glue and all these things and it's really hard to disassemble, then um, you won't reach that purity. Yeah. Currently, solar panels, they're rather downcycled. So what happens is the, the, the aluminium frame can be removed. Uh, the glass can be uh, recycled in a low quality. But also the, the very uh, critical components, so, such as the, the silicon cells and the silver within it, it can only be, or it is only shredded and used as filler material for asphalt or concrete. So the real innovation with Biosphere Solar, the panels that we are now developing, is that they don't have this glue layer. So the glass can easily be removed and these cells can then be recycled properly and new high functioning cells can be installed again in this solar panel. So this is the, uh, the operating table. <laughs> <laughs> you have this adhesive around the outside and then I can see obviously these silicon um, photovoltaic wafers. Yeah. Is that all there is to it, or is there more to it than that? So the glue also ensured that it sticks together, right? That everything stays in place. So we have two innovations. One which is going for uh, adhesive dots, so making sure that we don't glue it all throughout, but that we have certain, like you see these little dots here. This can all be removed once heated a little so bit. So just using a smaller amount of adhesive. Yeah, and the other one is that we have uh, a novel way of um, en enclosing the module that we're currently still innovating. Um, so okay. unfortunately, I can't share too much about secret, it. Trade secret. It's a bit of a trade secret, but we'll um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get okay. there. Who uh, will learn? Oh, so. Oop. No. Okay. Okay. Oop. <laughs> wow, that was yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry. I, was, I don't know what you're doing there, yeah. but I liked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're developing a machine to do this industrially. So this is really just to kind of show the the proof of concept. All of these cells are set in uh, strings. And what we would do is we would choose either a part of the strings or take the entire string and replace it. We're taking this thing apart. It is taking a bit of effort, a bit of human effort, but it's, it's, in, in the future this kind of thing will be a lot easier to do and a lot quicker to do. If one cell is broken in a solar panel, the whole thing does not function. What we would do is we would uh, desolder, as it's called, or cut a broken cell and replace it with the one we showed in the box. I hope that repairable solar panels is becoming the new status quo. So we're doing real life experiments here in Amsterdam where we will install these prototype solar panels. So real practical experience is being used in this living lab to actually create a adoptable new product which can actually be scaled up. So I'm gonna put all my energy into this.
And uh, let's hope that we can actually develop this, this new standard of solar PV.